7 49 and barbara is freezing so she went and found her husband's coat to put on because we're talking about cleaning out your closets and many of you don't wait for spring cleaning to do that right you got to make some room for new clothes that's right but you don't know uh, that you can actually make money for some of those old clothes so uh, we have Alyssa cox here by the way and she is from clothes mentor she's joining us this morning and our executive producer senior executive producer had the idea to bring in some of our own stuff that we would like to kind of shed from our closets and uh, this being one of them, but this is a men's jacket. So not necessarily something that you guys would take in, which I think is cool. It's like a Jeff Gordon jacket, his initials, NASCAR country, no? It is, it's a really great <laughs> vintage type of piece. Um, but we are just a women's, women's resale clothing store. So we pay women cash for their clothes, but we don't just accept clothes. We accept shoes, handbags, accessories. Um, athletic wear, maternity, so you name it. If it's in a boutique, we pretty much would pay you cash for it. So how does this work exactly? Because I've seen this, I'm familiar with this, actually on both fronts. A, a lot of parents do this with their kids' clothing mm -hmm. now, too, for consignment. It's a good way to kind of turn things over. And I know that, that you know, you can bring your clothes in, as you said, but you don't take everything, right? I mean, you kind of look for a certain level of... Uh, I don't know, is it only and, designer? And yeah, and certain quality, of it's course. It's not only designer. We take okay. everything from like Target all the way up to Christian Louboutin, but w since we pay cash for it, instead of consignment where you have to wait for it to sell, we are pretty selective. So mm. we look to see that it's within one to two years old um, and that it doesn't have too much wear and that kind of thing, no spots. Speaking of not too much wear, some of these have the original tags. This is an Ann Taylor skirt, brand brand new. Yeah, it's uh, brand new. It, with. Uh, Tags for $98. We'd sell it for $16. Nice. That's a pretty good deal. Um, generally, we sell our things for about 70% off its original retail value, and then we offer you around a third of what we're going to sell it for. So I think you made a good point there, too, that I want to make sure people understand. You give cash right away. As soon as someone comes in, they leave the door. Uh, they, leave, they, they head out the door with, with cash in their pocket. They don't have to wait for the item to sell. So when you're bringing things in, what do you look for in terms of does it have to be seasonally appropriate? Uh, you know, how can you tell if it is, if it's gently used or not? What do people need to know as far as guidelines? Well, we take all seasons all year. And a lot of brands, a lot of people don't know this, but brands like J. Crew, Banana Republic, um, The Limited, they all have date stamps on the inside. Mm -hmm. So we do kind of look through those to make sure that they're within our range. We don't stay strict to the two year necessarily. But Wait, where's the date stamp on the inside? Oh, it's I, on, on the, the tag. tag. Yeah. yeah, on the inside on the tag. It'll say like holiday or spring. And, yeah. So yeah, and, and they say if you didn't wear it last spring, summer, or fall, that you're not going to wear it this spring, summer, or fall. Yep. So you might as well get paid in cash for it. Okay, so while we talk through, I know Paige, you brought something, something from home that you probably mm -hmm. will accept. Um, but the jewelry, really quick, it, does it still? I mean, how do you decide what jewelry you're going to take? Does it have to be? I mean, this is custom jewelry, so and this is all very on trend. So yes. I mean, I assume that plays in, right? We definitely look into that, but a lot of jewelry, like we look at the tags because sometimes if it's from like Chico's or something, we'd price it for higher than mm -hmm. if it was from Versana, mm -hmm. where it's a little bit cheaper, it goes on sale quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So we look at styles and that kind of thing. Okay, so let me ask you, we brought a couple things in, as Barbara mentioned. I have several things here, just to give people an idea. Now, one of these, this first one, I actually bought at a store like yours, because I, you can get designer clothes for such a good discount. So this is a Michael, Michael Kors shirt. Now, I got this to wear to holiday parties. It's after the holidays. Does that matter? Would I still get as much money if you bring something like this in? No, you'd still get the same amount, because we just have it working with our inventory system that way. So um, we price that for about $30, and we'd give you around 10 for it. Okay. So, All right. Oh, so I'll hold that. Ten, there we go. So 10 bucks. Now, this, again, is one. This is from years ago. Mm -hmm. I got this, oh, gosh, I mean, like 10 years probably. However, I brought it because I wanted to ask you. It's a Diane von Furstenberg, which to mm -hmm. me is kind of timeless. Yeah. Does that matter to you, or does it, would it still need to be between two and three, two and three years? We would take Diane von Furstenberg because it's such a good brand. Like, wrap dresses, are, people are consistently buying them. Um, but... Some classic items are items that we don't accept no matter what if it has labels that are outside of that two year that we go for. Uh huh. All, All right. right. Uh, Barbara, you have one you want to ask? Just about? one more. I, just, really, just let folks know about the suits. So I brought in a suit, and you don't take suits as a suit. You have to break them up. That's right. So we do break them up into separates just because a lot of women, when they wear suits, they wear different sizes from the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so we would take those, but we take those as separates. Oh, that is an old school anchor lady suit right <laughs> I there. I know. This is back when we used to wear suits, and we won't look at the size because I used to be that small. The buttons and Anywho, everything. I look know, at that. right? Ah. We just said designer. And anyway, not going to happen. Anywho. <laughs> Neither will the jacket, but everything else works. Thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, great information you. and a great way to really help us clean our closets and make money in the process. And you're helping people who uh, maybe just don't want to spend as much buying some clothes. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's All a great right. place to shop and chill. So, thank you so. so much for coming in. Yeah, great to have you.